Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. I'm Sri Tips, and today I'm going to try something brand new. I'm going to try to uh, extract the silver off of some developed x-ray film. I've got over five and a half pounds of film in this box. I bought it on eBay. And uh, it comes with the procedure written uh, with the package. So as soon as we get this open, I'm going to go ahead and start this right now. be using bleach to strip the silver off these x-ray films and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in this bucket right here so I'm going to begin this process by cutting the films in two cutting them in half about 10 minutes to cut that all in halves like that so it'll fit in this bucket. Alright, as I said before, this is a brand new experiment. I've never done this. It came with a written procedure and it said to uh, strip the uh, silver off the acetate film with some bleach. So I'm going to add about a gallon of bleach to this uh, bucket here and then I'm going to go ahead and start stripping off the uh, silver off the films. I'm going to dip the first film in and let's see what happens here. Looks like it's going to be kind of a messy process here. Alright, the uh, Everything's off the film there on the one side, so I'm going to go ahead and dip the other side now. And the bleach strips it right off of there. Pretty cool. Bleach pulls the silver right off the film. I miss the bottom half here. Front and back. And turn it over and do the other side. Alright, I've kind of uh, refined the process here. Instead of squirting it off out of a squirt bottle, once this dissolves off of the uh, film, I got some tap water here. And 
and I'll just rinse the film in the tap water before I throw it away instead of trying to rinse it off with a squirt bottle. like it's all clear. Bleach takes it right off. Right smartly too. how long I'm holding that in there, not very long, about five to ten seconds. It's all off there already. fairly repetitious so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just shut the camera off keep doing what I'm doing here until I get all the films uh, stripped of the silver comes out pretty good Solution is uh, pretty heavily saturated now with the uh, the black material that's coming off the films, and it's starting to uh, not come off completely. So I think what I'm going to do here is uh, change out this bleach and add some fresh bleach in there, and uh, continue with this process. I've got about uh, a quarter of the films done. Go ahead and uh, swap out that bleach and I'll uh, continue.
I've got fresh bleach and fresh rinse water. I'll go ahead and continue this process now. Film's about halfway processed now. Just out of curiosity, I stuck one of them down into this bucket and noticed that it was still stripping silver off of the film. So I'm using two buckets now, the, the one that I poured off earlier and then my second batch of bleach up here. And they're both stripping pretty good now. So it's going to move a little quicker now. They've got two... Uh, two tanks to dip it into. I've developed a little bit of an assembly line process here. So what I'm going to do is get it started, then I'm going to speed the camera up and, uh, and show you how I'm doing it since i got two tanks here now. I've completed removing the silver from the x-ray films. It took uh, about six hours to do all that. This is the tap water that I used to rinse. This is the uh, first jug of bleach. And then I had another one down here that I uh, used. What I'll do now is let these uh, settle overnight. And then we'll uh, come back and siphon off the waste and recover the silver. I used a total of three gallons of bleach in the entire process for the entire five and a half pounds of uh, x-ray film. Okay, up here I have my rinse water. I've got the uh, bleach with the uh, removed silver in the bottom. The other bleach with the removed silver in the bottom. This has been settling now for about 12 hours. 
I've got a tube full of water here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and siphon these buckets out into an empty five-gallon bucket. Uh, the way I do that, this tube's full of water. I put my thumb over one end and stick the other end into the uh, solution that I want to siphon and just let my thumb on and let it go. Filled the tube again. What I do is uh, put one thumb over one side, stick the other side in the solution I want to siphon, and just let it go down here into my bucket. Careful, don't want to suck any of the solids up off the bottom of this bucket. Want to get down until we get just uh, above the area where the solids are. What I like to do is kind of tilt the bucket a little bit so we got uh, some liquid for the siphoning tube to draw on. I've run out of room in that five gallon bucket, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the uh, silver from this big five gallon bucket here into this smaller one. I've got the silver residue out of this big five gallon bucket. I got it all down here into this smaller bucket. And now what we'll do is set the bigger bucket down here on the ground. And then I'll take and uh, we'll transfer the tap water and rinse it out now. Here's our silver residue that we've collected. We get whatever's in the bottom of the tap water here. Again, got a tube of water. Put my thumb over one side of it, put the other end in the solution I want to siphon, and let, let my thumb off, and it just pulls it right on out. Siphoning is better than trying to pour this out. If I tried to pour this out, a lot of the material would get upset on the bottom as I poured, and would go over into my waste bucket here. So siphoning is the way to go with this stuff. I like to tilt it, get the liquid over to one side so I can siphon just as much of it out as I can without getting any of the solids out of there. And that went real well there. I've got the silver residue in both of these buckets now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer them to this uh, four liter beaker and uh, we'll have to let this settle out again and do another siphoning. And then the residue out of the tap water rinse. We add that right into the main uh, batch here. All this mud is silver. I'm going to show you how to convert it to pure silver metal here once we get this settled out in this uh, four liter beaker. You gotta rinse all the excess bleach off of it first. I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. I've transferred everything out of the buckets here into this four liter beaker. And uh, the waste solutions are both down here. That's bleach and probably could be used again for more uh, x-ray films. This is the rinse water. It'll probably have a little bit that settles out of it, but not much. Here's our main batch right here. It's got a grayish purple color to it. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But I'm going to have to let that settle completely, siphon off the liquid, and do a couple of rinses on this before we can convert it to pure silver metal. There's some mud down there in the bottom of this big beaker. 
It's a grayish color. It's probably a combination of silver chloride and silver oxide. It's about a half inch thick down here. So I'm guessing the yield out of this is going to be, I'm just going to estimate maybe an ounce and a half, close to two ounces maybe. And that's about it based on what uh, my experience has been in the past with this amount of uh, material in this form. All right, our experiment has been settling now for about an hour and a half or so. Most of the uh, solids have settled out. What I'm going to do is uh, siphon off the uh, liquid and we'll uh, go ahead and start to rinse on this uh, recovered silver material down here in the bottom of this beaker. As I did earlier, I've got a tube here full of water. I'm going to siphon the uh, solution off here into a jar. This is a jar of silver chloride that I uh, collect when I do my uh, electrolytic silver cell crystal rinses. And so I'm going to siphon this uh, solution off into here. And uh, it's still got a little bit of silver floating around in it, but I want to go ahead and hurry this up, get a yield for you. So we're going to siphon this off and begin by uh, rinsing the silver chloride so we can convert it to pure silver metal. Now what we'll do here is uh, I'm going to go ahead and transfer the silver chloride solution, the silver chloride and the solution into a tall beaker here so that uh, we can get the uh, a rinse done on it. Now I'll add some uh, hot tap water to the solution here and hopefully we'll get this thing to settle out pretty quickly. That only took about 10 minutes to settle. So now what I'm going to do is uh, siphon this uh, hot water off into this bucket here. This is the original bucket that we used in the rinse water earlier in the video. I'm going to add some more boiling tap water here. And I'm just going to keep doing these rinses until I don't smell uh, bleach real bad in our silver. I've done about uh, three more hot rinses and what, what I'm going to do now is uh, go ahead and just dip a pH test strip in there and see what kind of pH level we got here. And it looks like it's uh, eh, close to seven. What we're going to do now is uh, Start adding lye to this uh, silver chloride in the beaker here. You can use uh, lye from the hardware store. Uh, you want to make sure it's sodium hydroxide and not uh, Drano or something like that or a liquid drain cleaner. Probably won't work very well either. Uh, it's got to be sodium hydroxide. And what we're looking for is for this to turn a dark black color uh, as we add the lye to it. And I got a little handheld thermometer here. And as you can see, the temperature is at 188 degrees. I'm going to add a little bit more sodium hydroxide to stir here, see if I can look for a black color, uh, the color of a silver oxide. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more of this lye and stir. Here I've got some uh, regular table sugar just like you use in your coffee and I'm going to start adding little small spoons of this to the mixture and see if I can get it to uh, form some silver here.
Definitely getting a little bit of a reaction here. Doesn't look like any silver that I've ever seen. After I put the sugar in, the temperature's up to 208 now, so it's cranking. I'm gonna add another spoon of sugar here and stir and see what happens. I don't know if you can see that, but I picked the stirring rod up, and on the end there, looks like I might have some metallic silver there. I'm not sure. Like I said, this process is brand new to me. I've got no experience with it, so I'm really not sure what to look for. I don't know if you can see that down at the bottom there. I'm moving some material around down in the bottom of my uh, stirring rod there. There appears to be some solid material down in the bottom of the beaker. I'm hoping that's my silver. I'm going to pour this off now and see if we got some silver in the bottom of this beaker. And I think that's our silver right there. I'm adding some hot water to the cement silver here so we can get it rinsed off and get us a yield here out of this. And there's our silver down at the bottom of the beaker there. Doesn't look like very much. Probably less than an ounce. Way less than what I expected. I'm going to pour this uh, rinse water off now and uh, keep rinsing until I get all that brown material rinsed off the silver. There's my silver. And here's our cement silver. I rinsed it several more times with some hot tap water. I'm going to get it in a filter and then get it into a melt dish. Melt it up into a button and uh, see what kind of yield we got. This is our final product, the cement silver. Looks like it's going to be less than an ounce. I don't know, I won't know until I melt it, but uh,
Got a beaker on low heat here. I'm at about uh, 75, 50, 75 ml of distilled water. A little bit of sulfuric acid. And then I'm going to drop our uh, bead in there and get all that flux off of it. Let it cook for a minute or two. Here's our finished button of silver. Looks pretty, pretty pure. It's a nice looking piece of silver. Probably uh, around 99% pure, I would guess. I'll probably end up just uh, tossing this into my electrolytic silver cell and running it through that. Anyway, here we go. We're going to check and see what kind of weight we got on this thing. 16.4 grams. Half an ounce, one half troy ounce of 99% uh, pure silver. That came from five and a half pounds of x-ray film. Well, that was a challenging uh, endeavor. Uh, I was flying blind with that. This is the first time I'd ever done anything like this with the x-ray film. I didn't know what to expect, and for a while there, it was looking like it... Uh, was kind of going to be iffy on how much I could uh, extract out of those solutions that the color didn't look right to me. Uh, anyway, we got it done. Got a half an ounce of pure silver out of it. Probably close to 99% pure. A procedure did come with the uh, x-ray films. I paid $95 for the x-ray films on eBay. The procedure came, but I didn't use it. All I did was uh, find out what it was that took the uh, silver off the films and used that information once I got there, I could uh, I could figure out what to do with the rest of it. Oh, but uh, before you gig me on the, I, I didn't do this to make money on that silver, okay? I did this to demonstrate how to get the silver off the x-ray films. Uh, and I think I did that. So I want to thank everyone for uh, tuning in and watching. I hope you learned something. And uh, thanks for watching the video.